too long over it. No, happy to just step up a couple of steps. And it is the visitors who get the first three points on the board. So excellent work from the Ealing defence there as they try and stop the powerful figure of Longwell. Out it comes into the back. <laughs> Lee Jersey hitting back with the McHenry try, spotting the gap in the defence. Is there a try in here for Ealing? Referee looking on, awards the score. Ealing celebrate. The boards around the ground, urging their forwards on. Now the Jersey, more starts to move. It's going to reach the line. And it is a Jersey score. Too long over it once he steadied himself. No problem from the fly half, through it goes. <laughs> Nearly a charge down, under a lot of pressure. This bobbles forward again, it's going to bobble, and it's going to, he's taken it into the in goal area, and he's lost it. What's he done? As you can see, the try in the corner there. Has he got the score? <laughs> he has! Big, big moment in the championship title race. Still we continue, it has been lost, it's been lost forwards, it's been fumbled forwards, it's the full time whistle! Jersey goes top of the table with one game to go! The Reds leapfrog Ealing in one of the biggest wins in the club's history and they potentially got one of the biggest games in the club's history to come next weekend. The Reds will host up till, and the Reds pretty much know that if they can win, they'll be the champions. The Reds are now the favourites, surely, to win the league. Harvey, uh, just how special was that? Oh, lots of emotion going on. I think, uh, let's not get carried away, it's one more week, one more week to go, but um, that, that team, the, the, the effort that's been put in has been exceptional. The hard work, the sacrifices from everyone has been um, has been next level, but the discipline for the players to stick to task under pressure there. Um, to Ealing, we're very good today, and um, and uh, I just got to commend all the backroom staff and players to making sure we were we were on point in there, and it paid off. Cohabitants for nearly 130 years, but today finding themselves in a relegation battle after word was passed from the RFU Council late yesterday, confirming that one side will leave the championship at the end of this season. Up goes Bailey Ransom, the man who just made that break and almost tested Richmond's line. Wallace looking to get free, but gets scragged by the scruff of his neck. Still going though, London Scottish. That's a try. And the cross, great power, great determination. Rib, rib cartilage is... is Sometimes worse than a broken rib, but I've done saying it's hopefully not too serious. Oh dear, this Cameron King looking for a double. Cameron King bagging a brace. Brooke out the back. Richmond just can't find the pass, and most alarmingly for them, they find Luke Messon, whose footballing skills are far superior to Urevichus. Messon, the man, try time number four, and a bonus for Scottish in the first half. A crisis talks to be had at half time for Richmond. Another penalty advantage, offside the call. Cassius, Cassius, the cleaver, carving through Richmond. Try number five. And does that one put the game beyond any doubt? Scottish go to the front. They build again. They're driven back initially, but then the break away from Charles Lambos. Two replacing appearances in two game day weekends and two tries for the former Leeds Beckett boy. London Scottish have done it. They've beaten Richmond with a bonus 49 points to three.
and have the tenants just evicted the landlords from the championship. Give a part of me to a king I never met I got a cardigan with a tiger stitched in grey And in the dresser drawer another fifty shades of beige Just wanna flash my teeth like a John Wayne gun Like a China shop door running bloody in the city of the sun The city of the sun Yeah.